Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm sharing with you five must have natural butters that you need in order to start making your own skincare DIYs immediately. I've made everything from a shimmery body butter glow to delicious creamy lip balms. These five natural butters are a must have to add to your DIY stash. Wanna hear exactly which butters they are and why I recommend them? Well, keep watching. So guys, just as an FYI, the natural butters that I'm going to be talking about can be found over on my website at beautyrove.com. I will drop a link in the description box below. Also over on the website, you can find other DIY skincare and hair care ingredients as well as recipes. So if you've been rocking with me here on this channel for a while, thanks for subscribing. If you're new, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you're notified whenever I create a new video. Video. Let's get into these butters. So I am sure you're familiar with cocoa butter, which comes from the cocoa bean. So cocoa butter contains vitamin E, which is an antioxidant that helps protect the skin. It also contains copper, which is important for healthy skin and hair. So the thing that I love about cocoa butter is that it mixes into other ingredients very well, meaning it is a extremely versatile butter and it can be mixed into just about any skincare product that you make. It's also very moisturizing to the skin. Now, some people don't love the chocolatey smell, but I do. It actually allows me to get creative with my DIYs when I use it. So I love to use cocoa butter in lip balms, body bars, as well as body butters. So a fun fact about cocoa butter is that it's actually the main ingredient in chocolate, but I know you already knew that and we're not here to talk about chocolate. We're here to talk about DIYs. So another thing about cocoa butter that I love is that it does not spoil either easily over time. And for me, that's a plus. So number two on the list is cocum butter. So cocum butter comes from the cocum tree. Now this butter is actually obtained from extracting the oil from the seed and then it goes through a little refining process. So by the time this butter gets to us, those who love to use it in our DIY skincare, the color is off-white and it actually doesn't have much of a smell. And I would also consider this butter to be non-greasy. Now, although it's not greasy, it is still very moisturizing and it's a great emollient. So it contains many fatty acids that help to improve the barrier of the skin and retain moisture. And I love using cocum butter in my body butters. So this is a great addition also to live lip balms, lotions, and creams, as well as soaps. So cocum butter also contains vitamin E, has anti-inflammatory properties. This is definitely a butter I recommend you try out if you have not already. It makes everything so rich and creamy and it feels good going on to the skin. So now let's talk about a butter you've heard me talk about many times, and that butter is Maru Maru butter. So first off, I love the name Maru Maru, and then I love how this butter feels on the skin. So yes, this is one of my favorite butters. So Maru Maru butter comes from the seed of the Maru Maru palm tree, and it's a yellowish white color. It also doesn't have much of a smell, and it contains vitamins A, C, and E, as well as omegas 3, 6, and 9. And it is rich in fatty acids, and those fatty acids include lauric acid, myristic acid, and oleic acid. Look how creamy Maru Maru butter is when it's whipped up. So guys, I'll put a link in the video above so you can check out this video after you're done watching this one. Now, what I really love about this butter is that it melts on contact with the skin. So I can use it directly on my skin without mixing it into anything and it will absorb easily into the skin. So the next butter that we're talking about is kupuaku butter, which is another name that I love, kupuaku. So like kokum butter, this butter is extracted from the seed of the kupuaku tree. And after it's been refined, it has an off-white to ivory color. So it's almost odorless and it's non-greasy. So for those looking to make products that are less greasy, this is an excellent choice. It's rich in fatty acids such as stearic acid, linoleic acid, and oleic acid 
acid, which all help to hydrate and nourish the hair and the skin. So it has inflammatory properties that can help with irritated and dry skin as well. So I've included it in my hair conditioners as well as my body lotions. So the consistency of this butter is firm and it comes in smooth chunks. So I think it definitely looks different than other butters I've used just because of the way it's cut. Another thing to note about this butter is that kupulaku butter has hydrophilic or water loving properties, which is perfect for DIY hair conditioners. So if you have dry hair, I would highly recommend kupulaku butter. So next on the list is Takuma butter. So Takuma butter comes from the Takuma palm tree. Now, if you've been listening, you probably recognize that many of the butters that I've told you about go through an extracting process in order to get the butter. Well, this butter goes through that same process of extracting the oil from the seed of the plant. So this butter really is creamy when whipped and it's sort of whitish in color as well. It's rich in fatty acids, including lauric acid, myristic acid, and oleic acid. It also contains natural antioxidants. So I love love to use this butter in body balms, creams, lotions, and that's because it is an excellent moisturizer. So other products it can be used in include hair moisturizers as well as conditioners. So another great thing about Takuma butter is that it's been said to help reduce the appearance of stretch marks and it is excellent in skincare if you have sensitive skin as it won't clog the pores. So guys, let's go ahead and recap. So the first butter we talked about was cocoa butter, which I love to use in lip balms and body butters. Then I told you a little bit about cocum butter, which I love to use in body creams and soap. Next, I shared all the benefits and the reasons that I love Maru Maru butter, which I love to use alone as well as in my body butters and hair conditioners. Then we talked about the wonderful benefits of Kupuaku butter. And finally, we went over the benefits of Takuma butter. So guys, we made it to the end of the list and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share products that I talked about can be found in the description box below. Also, don't forget to head over to beautyrobe.com for more ingredients and DIY skincare. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.